You may not know this place, it actually had the largest amount of false diagnoses of um, colon cancer, which led to a lot of assistance in the hospital. Oh, that is a fucking drop. I'll be happy when we're out of here. I'm like hearing so much stuff to make me think I'm like going schizophrenic. Stilettos and lipstick. Is that not creepy? Prostate was murdered there. Yeah, I'm so sure there was a car right fucking. I did not like those bright red high heels. There's a lot of weird stuff happening. There are needles everywhere. <laughs> Watch your feet. Watch your stuff. There's one right there. So there is like, there's wires hanging down there, which seems safe. Is that a bone? There's no good reason for that to be in there. While you all were, were in there walking around, just around the door, hidden in the side, it could have been hiding. I feel a presence. I feel a presence. Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Tom Dark. I'm here with my best friends, Brandon Buckingham and Paw Paw. Paw Paw! Paw Paw's last day being 82 years old. Just look at him, for Christ's sake. What are you gonna do for your 83rd birthday? Yeah, I'm gonna line up about 10 naked women. <laughs> and whatever happens, happens. Isn't it isn't supposed to be a spooky video today? Hey, guys, today, <laughs> I feel a presence. You got to quit smoking that shit. It's a ghost. That's that crap rock. That's, a That's that crap rock. Yeah. Today we're going to be exploring abandoned locations with Wendigoon, your favorite spooky YouTuber. Hey everyone, today we are talking about the funniest thing in the world, people die. Tom Dark, intro attempt number three. Wendigoon just called me up and said the Patriots are in control. Papa, do you know about any spooky locations in New Orleans? I was too busy looking for something else. You gotta Slice be careful story. down there because some of those boys are dressed up like girls. Yo, there's Wendigoon. I'm such a big fan. I like when you said that thing on Twitter about Chris Chan. Do I know you? <laughs> what we want to do after we eat, like what side of town we want to be on. I'm not really sure. We're going to just look up locations for us to okay. go. Now, now you can be Wendigoon. Welcome to the Lore Lodge. It's not even me. It's Some of you wouldn't say welcome to the Lore Lodge. Yeah, okay. My name is Wendigoon. Go. Welcome to a new lore video about a cryptid that I completely made up that's not real at all. Welcome to spreading misinformation with Wendigoon. All right, now you're pushing him. <laughs> We're going to talk about, I don't know. The Raising Cane's Iceberg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What hey, you don't know iceberg. about the, the four chicken wing combo. Mardi Gras. We're going to swap roles for the day. He's going to make a third of what I make, and he's going to make YouTube drama videos. <laughs> and I'm going to swap, and I'm going to make videos about fucking shit that like, is real and matters instead of Wings of Redemption. I definitely don't talk about internet horror stories or anything. Those are real. They matter to me. Okay. All right. Our first stop was Six Flags New Orleans. It's an abandoned theme park located near the intersection of Interstate 10 and Interstate 510 in New Orleans, and you actually can't look it up on a map, so we basically had to find the coordinates of it on Reddit and then go from there. Now, Six Flags New Orleans was a huge park, and just 20 years ago, it was, you know, bustling with people. They were walking around, going on rides. But following the damage caused by Hurricane Katrina in 2005, the park was closed to make efforts to repair and reopen it. However, in 2009, the city ended its 75-year lease with Six Flags, and the park consequently became permanently closed due to the extreme damage that was too severe to be repaired. It was just beyond all repair. And if you see pictures of it, the park was absolutely flooded even weeks after Katrina. There was feet of water. Since then, the water levels have gone down, obviously post-hurricane, but it's become an attraction for urban explorers, despite the flooding, general creepiness, and security that constantly patrols the park to keep trespassers out. Hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, this guy's turning in. So I think, I think there's like a big entrance up there. See, uh, over there there's like a big gate thing. On the other side of this there's like two house things. Is there like an old map of the park? That's a big snake. Whoa. Watch that. Hey, hey, don't go, don't go near that. Don't go near that. What's he gonna do? Uh, if that's a cop mouth, it could kill you. And they go, they move faster than you do. Yeah. It's, oh, that it's, is a big snake. Don't, bro, it's right there. Don't Why is he that. sitting still? What if I throw a rock at him? Oh. Do not. Throw a rock at that. Tom. I just want to throw one rock. Within minutes of us getting there, before we even got to the main gate of the park, a black SUV pulled up on us, seemingly signaled by the white truck that had spotted us before. They seemed pretty used to trespassers, and the guy inside told us in a thick southern accent, y'all best get out if you don't want to go to jail. I know you guys are excited for the next episode of the Cryptid Iceberg, so we got out of there, but we planned to go back fully at night, hoping that the cover of night would basically allow us to get into the park again. That went really well. Like New Orleans. I tried so hard, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. The snake was on our side. We got to see a road. We did get to see a road, you're right. Busted in five fucking minutes. Oh. Taxpayer dollars are going to good use, dude. They're patrolling abandoned amusement parks instead of- Here comes Pop Pop. Anything else? It, I think that one truck that drove by and stopped probably the called the police, truck. yeah. Maybe we should go back at night. All right, well, onto the, uh, I guess, graveyard? Onto the graveyard, yep. Oh, yo, check it out, guys. Right now. What's up, guys? I'm here with Brandon Buckingham and Matt and Paw Paw and Wendigoon. And today, we're going to be checking out the craziest graves in New Orleans, man. Uh, 
up. We're about to get killed, we're about to get charged, it's gonna be insane. There's a lot of graves here, a lot of old French names. We've got normal name like Rotherham, then you've got France de Colon. Papa's macking on some lady in the cemetery right now. We have an Irish queen here. These are good guys. These They teach first and second grade English. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. We do a lot of uh, we've been doing a lot of teaching down in South America, a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of baby Gronk stuff. Okay. Yeah, that was epic, dude. I told her we're teachers from I South heard, America, I heard. and mm -hmm. I told her we do baby Gronk. Yeah. Did you like it? <laughs> I hate you. Do you think cemeteries are haunted? No, no, I don't think so. I mean, like, okay, for fun, absolutely. For fun, like, yeah, let's go find ghosts in a cemetery, right? But I am a Christian, so I don't I don't really believe in hauntings, ghost stuff like that. I think people can do some weird spiritual conjuration stuff at cemeteries, you know? I think Voodoo? I think if you go knocking on doors, you're going to find something eventually. So, yeah, may, maybe voodoo, witchcraft, stuff like that. I think weird stuff goes down, but I don't think it's, like, the souls of the dead, per se. It's like uh, one of the guys that the other cemetery mentioned. He was like, well, normally, like, if you do believe in spirits leaving the body, the spirit would leave them at the place they left left their body. Hospitals, homes, things like that. How yeah. many people you know died in a cemetery? None yet. None <laughs> yet. A lot could happen. Yeah. A lot could happen when you're filming. Remember that <laughs> pack we talked about? Oh, the live pack, you mean. The live pack. <laughs> What's your favorite cause of death, Wendigoon? <sighs> There's a lot. <laughs> I'd guess hanging. Hanging's a good one. Yeah. Like being hung? Yeah, yeah. Or hanging yourself? No, stop it. Being no, hung. So no, so no, Execution. Being hung. Nope. That's a good one. The guillotine's pretty cool. Yeah, no, the guillotine is pretty cool. Sports? No, that one, that one's a bit, it's a bit strange, the whole concept. Like they used to, like with the five man firing squad, four guys would have a loaded weapon and one would have a blank, but they weren't told who had what. The idea being that anyone who like has issues with it could maybe imagine themselves that they had the blank, that they didn't actually take the shot. It's a bit strange. You know, <laughs> but that's because only one of them does. It. So you're 80% likely to have a loaded gun. Correct. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, like, the way they did it in, like, Russia and stuff, they just, <laughs> it's like, kneel down, like, gun revolver to the back of the head. This, is, this, is this Mary? It's a statue of Mary erected yeah. in honor of uh, one of the superintendents who passed away. Oh. These graves are very, very cool. There's an almost kind of uh, poetic aspect of, like, people who died, you know, their bodies were kind of lost, stuff like that. It's, it's kind of like the, the city kind of being, like, whatever, the best we can give, you know, like putting together a nice mausoleum, a plot of land, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody's still leaving flowers with this one. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Maybe the uh, the workers of the cemetery keep track of it and everything. Mm -hmm. But some of these are old graves that are still. This bi this big one over here. This is like. This is a mausoleum. Do you pay to get buried here? How does that work? Yeah, you buy a plot. Yeah. Okay, so some of them are unused. Polite Smith. Lorazzo, in the midst of absence, of presence is made known. Well, you, you like you'll you'll miss me when I'm gone type thing. Is there someone buried there? Nope, no dates. Lazaro. It's just a bot plot, I believe. You can do that, huh? Yeah, you can buy plots before you die. Is you it... especially see it when like when uh, couples die, like say a husband dies before the wife, she'll go ahead and put her name on it with her birth date, and then yeah, just the husband's name, but no yeah, date. yeah, but no death date. Yeah. There's a guy up here from uh, World War II. So if you guys know this, there was actually a famous battle here, the Battle of New Orleans. I think it was the War of 1812, like the second war after the Revolutionary War and the British came back and we're like, we're gonna fuck you up again. The United States was not like the country it is now. We had a military, but we weren't like where we were in World War II. So a lot of it was like farmers beating, the, at the time, the greatest empire in the world, the British army. And we beat them. We won that battle. It's pretty impressive. Man. Wendigoon's cool. grandfather was actually one of the militiamen that led an uprising Wendigoon's here in Louisiana. Wendigoon's dad is actually Andrew Jackson and yeah. he yeah. made them, that's why they call him Wendigoon Tears Goon yeah. because he, uh, Supports the trail. Yeah. The, the Goon of Tears is what yeah. it was. The Goon of Tears. So his his dad's dad made everybody in Louisiana that was from Britain uh, masturbate until they were out of energy, and then they just got him with an ambush attack or something along those lines. He said, "Want a goon? Want a goon? Yeah, that's a general." It's now it's now known as the yeah. the Want a Goon maneuver. They in thought the it was like a friendly right. thing, like take some take some rest off and goon out, and then uh -huh. they struck. Yep. Just kept gooning forever. He didn't allow one one person to edge. The, the War of eighteen twelve is interesting because it's kind of <laughs> like I'm just gonna talk. Um, <laughs> it's interesting because it's like a bunch of people call it like the second uh, war for independence because like we beat Britain once. We got our we got you know some stability as being our own country, and then Britain es essentially said they wanted it back, so they came back again. So it was kind of the test of America. Like okay, you got lucky one time. It was like fifty years after independence, about right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's kind of like you got lucky one time. What do you have? Like, what does this country mean to you, the next generation? And they did it again. Give me like the fucking phantom text. Give it something. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna be your sigma. It's true. It's the only His time I laugh. brain has been destroyed. I went. By just I went. Constant I, like internet rot. intake. Yeah. I went to see like an actual comedian recently with my camera guy Theo Vaughn, 
And you can attest, I didn't laugh once. Tom laughed at one joke when Theo made fun of Jewish people. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, I did do that. Not enough skibbity, dude. I would like to walk over to the French Quarter. Yeah, of course. And see the voodoo, like stuff. the voodoo stuff. I think I do have a turkey tom one, actually. I, I was saying, if we, we have one of you. Don't you no, I think it's funnier to use you. And like, do like dirty things. Dude. I'm gonna hex your penis. Yeah, every time you nut, it's gonna let a ghoul out in your home. <laughs> That's good. Come ghouls. <laughs> one of us is gonna be like, hey, what's up? Do it again, I got more friends in there. <laughs> Get Jerry out. Johnny's in there somewhere. <laughs> they found out through Reddit that you were um, sucking a penis under a bridge in, in Clark County, Maryland, oh. uh, and it was baby 50. No more gay shit. I had gay prank DNA on me, I was gonna prank you. My dick's just one of those dicks that wants to go in and don't come out. My dick's one of those dicks that once it goes in, it don't come out. My dick got barbed wire. <laughs> My dick got barbed wire. Papa, how do you feel about smoking symbiotes? Uh, I don't smoke anything. What about that Whoopi Goldberg Bubba Kush? How do you feel about Whoopi Goldberg as like a sex icon? I have a long... <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're currently on our way to the French Quarter, which is, I think, is this the oldest part of New Orleans? It's like the oldest fancy part of New Orleans. So voodoo, as you guys probably know, is a religion portrayed in popular culture, like Powers of the Caribbean. It's basically like people pose it as African witchcraft, right? They've got the voodoo dolls, they torture people, but it has a big presence in New Orleans due to the ancestry there, and we wanted to know what it was all about. Thankfully, we met with a voodoo expert to tell us all about it. We've acquired an official interview with the voodoo bone lady here in New Orleans. Yeah, she uh, she has a lot of masks around here. She says she knows black magic, she knows everything. And she's gonna explain to us about the voodoo religion, some of the misconceptions. We're gonna ask about some of the interesting artifacts we've got in here. As you can see, we've got these cool masks all up and down here. They seem to be straight out of Africa, straight out of Zimbabwe City. Hey everybody, I'm the voodoo bone lady. I'm the voodoo queen of New Orleans. And so, what would you like to know about voodoo? Uh, just the basics. What are the basics of the religion? Well, I would just tell you this. Voodoo, my friends, is not what they tell us that it is, okay? Voodoo is not a cult. It's actually a real religion. It comes from Africa and it's over 10,000 years old. That people don't realize that it's all over the world. They think it's just in New Orleans or in Haiti or Africa where it originates from. But in reality, voodoo is everywhere. Do you believe in a, is there a God? How does it work? Yeah, we believe in one God. Okay, so voodoo is monotheistic. That is definitely a big misconception. Okay, a lot of people think that we worship hundreds of gods. I've even had people ask me if we worship chickens or goats. Okay, they ask me crazy stuff like this. Okay, well, in voodoo, you have one God and many different different spirits. We call those spirits Orishas or Loas, but we understand the whole time those spirits aren't God, they're more or less like God's helpers or messengers, if you will. Now, I see you have a lot of artifacts sort of in the store, like a yeah. lot of masks. Yeah. What is the significance of these masks? Well, yeah, these masks are all vintage and antiques from Africa, different parts of West Africa, Benin, Ivory Coast, Cameroon. These are all crafted, they're blessed by the voodoo priests for different types of things. Some for protection, some for fertility, some for creativity. So they bring different blessings into a person's home when they have one of these specially blessed men. I want a fertility blessing. You want a fertility one? Look, this I is the fertility one. one. Check Please. this out. <laughs> it does look fertile. How does this transpire in your daily life? Are you praying? Every day, from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. There's so many different devotions that I have to do each and every day. How do you feel about uh, how voodoo's been uh, portrayed in popular media? It infuriates me, okay? And I don't need to be infuriated, okay? Because I will tell you, you know, if this was done to any other religion, there be some kind of protest against it, okay? People would fight against it. What are some of the like blessings or more positive things that come with voodoo? Okay, let's talk about that. What is the reality of voodoo? You see these, this voodoo doll up right. there. It's a very old voodoo doll from Africa. It has lots of nails in it. When people went to Africa a long time ago, they saw dolls like that. They were kind of like, oh my gosh, this thing is scary, it's menacing. You know, they're sticking nails in there to kill people. They would have realized we're not sticking nails in there to hurt people. We stick nails in there to bless people. So for Christianity, a lot of people will say that miracles are performed or something like that. Do you have sort of an equivalent of that? I performed it myself, okay, yes. We've definitely healed people. I did an exorcism right here in the shop just a few days ago, brought evil spirits out of a lady. She went into convulsions right here on the floor. Mm. Some people ran out in horror screaming, ah! Others stopped and watched because they'd never seen anything like this in their lives. So yes, voodoo has produced a lot of miracles, I would say. Have you seen any, I guess maybe not in New Orleans, but any like false practitioners who you think are kind of phonies pushing voodoo? Or do you think pretty much everyone involved is being pretty honest? <laughs> you want to know the real scoop of what I think on this? Because I'm just too real for this sometimes, okay? <laughs> Ever since, you know, nowadays, everybody thinks they're some kind of psychic, some kind of guru. They pick up a book from Amazon or Barnes & Noble and they think they can read people's fortunes. This is something you have to have a gift for. 
anymore. If you're not born into this, please stop trying to come into this, okay? <laughs> I just, again, want people to have a very open mind uh, about voodoo because, again, it is nothing like what they have told us. But there is a more sinister side to it as well. And I'm getting ready to go there, okay? I go down to Haiti a lot. And in Haiti, they call me Mambo. Mambo is like the Haitian Creole word for voodoo priestess or voodoo queen, okay? Haiti's a hot mess right now, but Haiti was not always a hot mess, okay? Haiti should actually be saluted because they're our only country in our modern recorded history that actually successfully freed themselves from slavery, okay? They, the Haitian Revolution, they freed themselves. They defeated Napoleon's forces, okay? Voodoo is what powered that whole revolution. Well, this stoked fear into the hearts of slave owners in the American South. They're like, hold up now. They got some stuff called voodoo down there in Haiti. Don't let them get that stuff on your plantation. They'll mess around and throw you off your plantation. And if any slaves were caught practicing voodoo after that, they would have been beaten or killed. What they did was they took a, it took each one of the voodoo spirits and each one of the Catholic saints. And so they said basically what they would do is they'd take each Catholic saint and associate it to one of the spirits of voodoo. So they'd be sitting there in front of their slave owner saying, oh, Santa Barbara, please bless me. But Santa Barbara was cold where for Shango, one of our voodoo spirits, okay? Mm. And they never realized they were practicing voodoo right up underneath their nose, okay? And that's how they kept the voodoo alive and well and intact. And I can own a voodoo shop today. And I imagine you believe them practicing that led to their success in the American Civil War because obviously the South completely lost. Right, right, exactly, definitely. I believe that, you know, when you oppress people, they're going to use spiritual means to liberate themselves. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what they have done. Uh, Wendy Goon, how did you feel about that? Did that inform you? Yeah, I thought that was fantastic. It's very interesting to me as someone who is religious, right? I'm always interested in the history of different religions, where they came from, where pieces come off of, and things like that. And to hear from someone who really is an expert on the topic talk about, like, what it really represents, where the connotation of it kind of got switched up, yeah. like tracing it back to its roots. It's so interesting to see how these stories and cultures were built out over centuries and generations of people. I was completely under the impression it was like Pirates of the Caribbean, like torture people with a fucking doll. Small heads. Yeah, yes, that's what, small that's what head. movies make it out to be a lot yeah. of the time. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah. You, if you don't know, like from the source, that's the connotation you get in media. Yeah. yeah who knew voodoo dolls were mainly used for blessings? Yeah, because anytime you look at anything in the, like stories or whatever, it's always a negative effect. Yeah. But yeah. I'm thinking yeah. about like putting pins in the eyes of the doll to make someone go blind. And yeah, it's not yeah. That no, at it's, all. it's actually, it's like, hey, wake up. Yeah. <laughs> we miss you. My YouTube enemy is how I'm going to punish them with needles and just. Yeah. Well, that means now you have to find a new religion to use to do that. Yeah. Fuck. All right. <laughs> Coming for you. Brian, I need a voodoo algorithm blessing. That's what I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to charge our stuff, eat some food, and then hopefully uh, I want to explore an abandoned place. Yeah, that would be great. We're also a little bit chilly, so we're going to get some coke, so we're not. I know I'm from Maine, but I'm kind of being a pussy out here right now. We'll see you soon. Stupid little transition. All right, so we're about to go to some abandoned locations in New Orleans. We've got three different spots to check out. We've got one Cold War bunker, we've got one abandoned hospital. And we're going to Six Flags, Tom's favorite place. He's going to get in the wave pool. Oh! We're gonna try to get back in. Yeah, the latter two were decimated by Hurricane Katrina, leaving them abandoned. And the first one apparently floods often, like multiple feet of water, so that should be dry. Yeah, it's a Cold War bunker, we might not get in. The hot war is starting. Yeah. During the Cold War, basically, the United States and Russia were constantly in fear that all of the political rivalry would result in a hot war and open like nuclear strikes one against the other. So in a lot of major American cities, they began building these bunkers for the potential of there being some kind of attack on the United States. So there's a bunch of them around the US. Most of them have been reclaimed or you know remade into something else. There's not a lot that still exists as fully just abandoned facilities still in the condition it was during the Cold War. Cold War. It's an interesting relic of that time. Yeah, it sits in between two residential neighborhoods on a median, a big median. It was likely built by the government. It violates HOA. You yeah. probably would. You probably did try to build a fucking bunker. Isn't there a show about that? There's whole companies that sell pre-made bunkers. Goons Day prepping? That's that's kind of thing Tom's into. It's an edge war. The question is if yeah. it will goon. What did you do for work yesterday? Oh, I went to an abandoned Civil War bunker. We tried to go to Six Flags in New <laughs> yeah. Orleans. They got kicked out in one minute. Yeah, dude, my day sucked yesterday. For work, I had to go to abandoned Six Flags and a Cold War bunker. It's like a grand entrance. Yeah, the door's open. All right, check this out. It's gonna be a bunch of fun crackers. You all have fun, go ahead. <laughs> now this bunker in the middle of a residential neighborhood was absolutely flooded when we were exploring. There were multiple feet of dirty, dirty water. To even be in there, we probably should have had gas masks or waterproof gear because it was definitely not just water. You could smell diesel, you could smell other stuff. After researching online, after being there, which I probably should have done before, apparently there was asbestos in there. So we probably all got some form of lung cancer. If you lit a match in there, I have full confidence that it would have lit something on fire uh, in the water and it probably would have torn us. You guys are being, come on, don't, don't be cowardly. Give me that light, bro. It's okay. Oh, dude, be careful. 
Be careful. It's like it's like a huge drop. Like watch Wait, your step. This Whoa. this place is in the middle of the neighborhood. There's, de there's definitely if there's definitely like people in here. There's definitely like a homeless person in here. We come in peace. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh dude. It's not flooded either. We can explore it, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, kind of, I'm kind of scared. I'm a little spooked right now. We're going. I'm not spooked. You're not spooked, You're not spooked at all. Alright, let's go, let's go. You go first. If there's any homeless population around here, which there is, there, people are going to be down here. Yeah. That's what I'm scared about. Where the f*** are your play-by-play? -play? I'm a little nervous now. I wasn't nervous until you were nervous. Yeah. Imagine if all the lights went off at once. I would myself. Oh, I was just Oh, what is that? A tank tread? There's like a tank tread down here. What is that? No, that's an old uh, like tank manufacturing uh, like conveyor belt. Oh, there's a syringe. So it's not exactly dry. Wait, so oh yeah, check it out. Capitalism. Where is it? On the wall. Capitalism go home. Let's see. Wait, so during the Cold War, essentially, there was a uh, possibility of like nuclear fallout, so that's why they're building these bunkers? Yeah, that's the main. I mean, not just nuclear, it could be anything, it could be, you know, missile strikes, just an invasion. You want people to be able to hide from invading forces or whatever. Basically, a place to pe keep people safe in the event of some kind of attack. So this is all, there's all water over here. Yeah, I would be careful, because uh, there's syringes and stuff. There could be something beneath the water you don't want to step on. Yeah, I'm not going to step in it. I mean, even if it's not like a heroin needle, it could be like a nail with tetanus on it. I'm so. not gonna be stepping in the water. Yeah. How far back does that go in there? It goes pretty far back. You see oh, it goes like, way back. Of stuff back there. Wow. How deep do you think that is? Now that platform you're on is floating, it would seem. <laughs> it actually looks like it might be like six inches or more deep. Maybe even like a foot deep. So there is like this six wire thing down there, there which seems safe. I see rooms and stuff like behind there. Yeah. It goes way back, Tom. It yeah. goes way. I wish we had boots. It's yeah. So cool. Because there's probably also, actually not probably, there is a ton of snakes and animals in there. In an area this hot, or like an area that gets this hot normally, and once it gets cold, they're going to go down hey, into bro. like more places like this. Hey! Hey! I think there's a homeless person. There's no one living here. It's too wet to live. Thomas, he's a little Tom's high off an Adderall, smoking <laughs> a cigarette right go. now. That's what he wants. Let's get, let's go right now. Let's get the boots right now. We're gonna go in there. All right, so we just explored uh, an abandoned Cold War bunker. It was pretty cool, pretty rank and dank down there. They had the RC Wasn't, Cola. <laughs> yeah, the RC Cola. Wasn't totally flooded, but it definitely had relics of the past. Like, I thought I saw tank treads, but you quickly corrected me. It was, belt, yeah. You can see someone slept on the stairs at some point, sleeping bag, Yeah. cooler. Yeah. That bunker is f***ed up and twisted and disgusting. Why, okay, okay, okay. Think baby Gronk rizzed up Livy Dunn. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Baby Gronk did rizz up Livy Dunn, but Livy Dunn is not who he wants. We wants is fucking Sky Bree, okay? Do you think Sky Bree is better than Drip King, or you think Drip King matches up with Sky Bree? I think Drip King definitely is above Sky Bree, but only on the basis he's been working so much harder than her lately. Sky Bree's gonna get back on her grind set. She's gonna be in there, and uh, so she watches my videos. Lindy Boggs Medical Center was the next stop on our trip. It's an abandoned 175 bed hospital located in New Orleans. Once again, just like Six Flags, when Katrina hit it, it absolutely devastated it. There were a lot of people inside the hospital at the time and they decided to take shelter. They thought it would be safe. But when the levee system failed on August 30th, many people found themselves trapped inside with no way out. So on the first day alone of the flooding, 19 people died. They had a ton of problems like no running water, no way to dispose of waste, low food storage and a terrible smell throughout the entire thing from the water. There was no blood for transfusions, and there was very little medication besides morphine to basically dumb the pain down from what they were experiencing. By the end of everything, the death toll was 45. It's been closed since then. Nobody has really gone in for any medical treatment. As you can see now, there's absolutely nothing good going on there, which meant that we needed to go in. Look at that fucking thing. Look at this place. That thing looks so scary. This is a break right here, this is it. Yeah, so this looks like maybe this would have been where like ambulances come or vehicles would come to go into the hospital. Oh, is there water down there? Wild. I'm not seeing any more federal federales. Be noted that there is a bunch of signs saying surveillance. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is when I hop about the bed and turn my swag on, there's nothing <laughs> that can be done. There's also a gap in the fence right there, you can see. Uh, yeah, I feel like parking here might be good and then we can just walk yeah. over real quick. Yeah. Well, do you want to stay here here or do you want to like walk with us to the fence? I'll walk with you to the fence. So the gate at the hospital was left wide open on one side, so we waited for no cars to be around. Wendigunda dropped us off and we headed into the courtyard. Thousands of grandfathers died at this hospital. Billions of old men died of cancer in this hospital. You may not know this place, it actually had the largest amount of false diagnoses of um, colon cancer, which led to a lot of assistance in the hospital and they say that their dead ghosts now haunt the premises. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, yo. We got some drip. We got some MF bling, dude. Baby Fitty was here. I'm phone M grave, bruh. Dun, 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 dun. I feel a presence. I feel a presence. 
an abandoned medical center that was completely flooded as a result of Hurricane Katrina. We can see there's holes here, so watch your step a little bit. The pipe right there banged me in the dang head. Jesus. But uh, yeah, we're gonna check it out. What is that, Tom? Looks like a sleeping bag. It looks more like a tarp or, or a trash bag, I'd say. Bro, how scared Lucas is is like making me. I'm not scared at all. Well, good, Tom. Have some confidence and some bravado and pep talk the team. This is cool, dude. This is cool. So this looks like it was some kind of, this is this is like the exit to the mess hall or something into like a courtyard for people to hang out with. This is so cool. I don't know what the fuck it is. Busto, Busto was here. Check out Busto. I kind of just do not f with this courtyard. This little like. I think we should go up. Okay. So I think the way in is that window. Oh. I think we have good news for Lucas. I think it's flooded. Nope, it's not. We can go in. Everything is just mucky. The whole city's flooded. Water. All of New Orleans is drowning. Let's do a little exploring chat. Nice and wet. Nice and dank. When will be you alive. be alive? I wonder what kind of like area was this? This is so cool. This water dripping in. We're gonna go back, we'll go back from where we came. Don't turn your We're not gonna need to escape. Wait, anymore. let's get out of this area though, right now. That's like the first. Give me a sec. That's like the first thing we can. That's like the first thing we can. Let's get away from that. Hold on. I kind of want to get out of here actually. Where, uh, where, do we, where do we come from? It's a red shoe. Let's get out of here. What? We just got in. What about upstairs? Y'all are pussies. What's the worst it could be there? A crackhead? A hot girl who wears <laughs> shoes? A hot girl who wears high heels? I do not like those bright red high heels. Man, They're turning me the fuck on, dude. That's creepy, dude. I'm bricked up. We didn't even see the upstairs. There's a whole upstairs. Fresh, new, <laughs> bright, clean, high heels. There's a whole upstairs in there. I've never been exploring it. I don't think a, I've a seen hospital something I've seen fresh, bright, red, high heels. That's like creepy. Like they, First time for everything. There's a lot of noise in there too. There's a lot of weird stuff happening. There's just water dripping. This place is creepy and my, my feet are wet. It's like the floor is sopping wet. Can we see what's up there? Can I see this? So we try to explore the building proper. There's a bit too much water and some new red shoes, which is definitely scary. I did not like those new red shoes. Yeah, we're ascending this outdoor stairwell. <gasps> Chill, man. Chill with that, so. Right, so this is the roof, actually. There are needles everywhere. needles everywhere. Bro, this is like, this is yeah, like there a- there are needles everywhere. There's literally needles everywhere. There's one right, watch your no, step. There's, there's one right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah. There's open needles everywhere. I hear all kinds of creepy noises. Some good shit happened here. I just don't, I don't, I don't like it here. <laughs> yeah. I don't like heights like this. I wanna go back in. That edge? I wanna I'm, go back in the hole. I'm edging right yeah, now. Yeah, I was edging hardcore right now. I hate to be a, a scaredy cat, but I don't like the fresh red heels. Okay, if you think there's a fucking serial killer in there, they're gonna be in the whole hospital, so it's not gonna matter. There's no serial killer. It's just a fucking shoe with a hot girl hanging out there. Who wants to fuck us? Call me a conspiracy theorist all you want. I don't fuck with the bright red heels in the in, in the hospital in the abandoned hospital. Am I weird for that? No, I, I've never seen something. Lucas, can you my back on this here a little bit? I mean, Lucas, what are your thoughts on the on the on the well, fresh on. red heels? Listen, I've never done the I've never done the horror exploration. I know you're a pro at this, but with tags on the bottom of the red heels, someone was fucking down there. Like very recently. Recently. Okay, all woman. we know is there's a hot girl here who works out a lot. She does a lot of steroids and she wears red heels. <laughs> Tom's a goon fiend. With this amount of syringes, like looking this fresh, this, this place is frequented for sure. But that was that was pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. I was putting on a little bit of a front. It was scary once we got in there. The red shoes were a little freaky. You know, we just some white boys, you know, we ain't used to this kind of thing. Check this out. We go in there and we walk like three minutes or so back into the corridors and then- Wait, keep in mind. Okay, only entrance. We walk around the courtyard on the inside, no entrance, nothing. Only entrance is the least optimal one, which is a, a raised window. It's like five feet off the ground mm -hmm. that we have to pull ourselves up into and crouch as we get in. Yeah, with, it's with, narrow. With, with, yeah. No, with no light, no light. The floor <laughs> is flooded mm. and there's like about a half inch to an inch of water on the floor okay. in there and syringes everywhere. Like I'm saying three to seven times more syringes I've ever seen in an abandoned building. Wow. Like okay. fresh seeming syringes. And we walk around the bend there and on the ground is a bright red glossy stiletto. 
New. It's new. One. Yo. It's new. Yo, did you get it? Did you pick it up? No. What? What's this? What's the deal with the stiletto? Something bad. That's oh, like girl. some murderer shit. Uh, he's thinking stiletto knife. We're talking two high heels. A heel. Oh, a high, high heel. heel. I thought right you meant a knife. A high no. heel. But it was both oh. from there. Some lipstick and some like just. There other... was lipstick too. Yeah, I, I, I got there's, everything. There, yeah, there's bright, glossy stilettos and lipstick. Is that not creepy? Uh, I don't it was, like there's that. There's no good it, reason for that to be in there. Uh, maybe I'm just crazy and psychotic. Best case scenario. Best case scenario. Guy, girl out on a date. Let's, Stripper. Let's go check out that place. No, not strip. Not stilettos. Like nice shoes and stuff. I mean, they were like that's like they, they murdered. Shitty, us. That's, nice like, that's like that's like sure. that's like a prostitute was murdered there. Boyfriend, girlfriend, go check it out. She drops her shoes and doesn't go back to him. But that didn't. Drops happen. her shoes and, and lipstick and, and, yeah, and with the happen. glass with all the glass. I'm trying to be an optimist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How far did you guys get? Just not like far. Yeah. 100 feet. Yeah. Mm. I wanted to go way deeper. Good, Brandon. I did not f with that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, I didn't like it. So Six Flags? Six Flags. <laughs> yeah. We could have gone so deep. You wanted to go deep in that red stiletto girl, for real. Don't lie. Dude, she's probably a baddie. Six Flags, New Orleans. One of the only abandoned amusement parks in the world. Once a bustling town full of cities. <laughs> Tom doesn't have his writers to write him a script. Shut the f <laughs> Tom off the cuff. Six Flags, New Orleans. One of the only abandoned amusement parks in the world. It's not one of the only abandoned amusement parks in the world. It's not true. Six Flags, New Orleans. One of the only abandoned amusement parks in the world. It's not one of the only abandoned amusement parks in the world. So obviously, creepy pasta culture has been a big thing in the last few years. A lot of people associate abandoned places, abandoned childhood places in particular, with the scary, the creepy, the horrifying. You know, Five Nights at Freddy's, obviously. <laughs> what the? Can you do it without making a pop culture reference? <laughs> okay, how am I supposed to not t talk about Five Nights at Freddy's? Dude? Joy. Me, Tom, how am I supposed to not talk about Five Nights at Freddy's? Is that a Freddy Fazbear? Arr, 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 arr. So yeah, we're going into the Six Flags. It's abandoned. I fucking know. One of the only abandoned ones. It's bustling. And there's roller coasters. Obviously, we were here earlier in the day, and as soon as we came here, security guard kicked us out. So now we're back at 11:30 at night. What's the game plan? We need to pull up quick. No lights, no show. As soon as you are past that fence, you will be invisible to like anyone driving by, looking on the road, because there's no backlighting over that direction. Once you get all the way in, where there is wall coverage or tree coverage around you, so you know light. Lights won't bleed out to the road, then you're good to go. Because with them patrolling around the area, you've got to be careful even if you think you're safe in there. Turning on a light won't shine through, but you may like be holding a light up like this and then you shine it off a sign accidentally and then that reflection caught, you know, someone setting up at the road or something like that. Shut, shut the door, Matt. Shut the door. to climb over gigantic uh, lights. We get to the end of the shrubs, let's not go out. When we get to the end of the trees, let's like wait a second, just look. Yeah. And see what's there. Don't want to smoke a cigarette right now. Come on, bitch. Are you serious? First thing we do when we break into Six Flags is Tom starting to smoke a cigarette. No lights, no show. <laughs> That's the first thing we do. What else am I going to do? We're not even past like the last line of security. He's like, hold on, I got to light up. How's my nerves? Well, let's stay to the left, right? We should go up to that tree line and peek around and see if there's anyone down there. Hey. I think the main entrance is up there. The main entrance is that thing. You think it's guarded? Main entrance is that thing to hook me up. All right. It's a massive parking lot. This is really cool that we're in here. So essentially, do you think our risk of uh, getting in trouble by security is pretty minimal at this point in time? Or? I, I would say we're probably in the clear. <laughs> I just jinxed it. I would say we're probably good. Hopefully. We just got to stay out of the light probably within the um, amusement park, right? Parking lot? The parking lot goes way in that way. Is that a shrub? I can't tell. Just hang to the left here. Look, dude. 
There's a path right here. That was. I can't tell what that is. I don't think it's a, a car would have, it tape, it tape, it, it tapers down at the edges. It's not a car. It's not a car. It's pretty cool though. Once we're in, we're in. Look at this roller coaster right there. Pretty cool, right? It is it's cool. pretty cool, right? Crazy. We're in. <laughs> Whoa. What is this thing? Let's wait till we get away from the parking lot. No, no flashlights. Only, only like low light for the camera. So kill the light and let's go inside of that building. Well, it's crazy, it's all already completely dilapidated. Like the sign was just like illegible. It's been what, 18 years? It looks like like right here, looks like you're really hurt in some of these places. If we're in here. Keep it low, low to the ground. Is that a bone? Oh, here it is. Snack shack. Sorry. Okay. Light down. Light down. All right. Let's go to the abandoned building and go to the roller coasters. You want to go on this thing? There's a roller coaster right over there. These are com it's completely destroyed. A lot of these buildings. Dude, Hurricane Katrina was insane. Let's get out of this little town area. It's creepy, isn't it? What the fuck was that? I hear voices. Are we trying to you? I'm hearing voices, dude. Are we trying to I'm hearing like squeaky metal. But the thing is, your your voice will your mind will trick you into thinking you heard something and you didn't. You want to say right? No, just get to the roller coasters. Dude, you're Brandon. Brandon, it's gonna be fine, dude. It's gonna be just fine. Whatever we do, let's try to let's try to avoid the main entrance. Yeah, we'll put that down for now. In this place. You can you can film this. Only use that if we're inside. What is this? Check this out. I'm like hearing so much stuff. It's making me think I'm like going schizophrenic. I'm not trying to be. <laughs> Yeah. Extra. Your mind definitely makes you think you're hearing a lot of shit. Yeah, it's so dystopian here. It's like extremely dilapidated and... Just like 20 years ago, think about it. 20 years ago, families, everybody was Having fun. Everyone was having fun. Now, nothing. This place is huge. I'm yeah, hearing things. Like, I'm hearing things. Yeah, they're crazy. Look, this is how dark it is. This place is like, how many hundreds of millions of dollars to make? Down the f***ing drain. All right, they're still they're still around in case we need a ride. This is creepy as f Yeah, we're deep in this Six Flags, New Orleans. I'm trying to go up to a roller coaster. The big one and the Ferris wheel. We got to get on it. The noises I'm hearing are crazy. I, mean, I, I, I keep bringing it up. It's, it's repetitive. Really I'm gonna noise, I'm yeah. gonna edit out how many times I've said it. It's the sign. The sign over here. There's an exit sign just randomly on the floor, telling us to get the f out. Telling us it's time to go. Can we get a light in here? Look at that shit. That's fucking weird. Should we go back there? There's some shit back there. There's, like a, there's an ice cream machine. So there's no ice cream machines there? Yeah, look. Good humor. What if there's ice cream in it? You wanna see? Sure. Let's see what ice cream is. Really? Yeah, right there it says uh, to report employee theft, harassment, property or equipment abuse. I think we're gonna have to make a report at the facilities here. Pull the fire alarm. You wanna see what happens if we call the number? What? You wanna see what happens if we call that number? Uh, sure. Well, we're leaving though. I'm not calling the number. Probably nothing. Disconnected. All right, let's go deeper into this hill. I think there's a merry-go-round right there. Look at that, dude. Hole? Wait, why is it kind of... Yeah. There's still water down there. Yeah. Definitely have to watch our step out here. Creepy, dilapidated ride over here. Yeah, with the dangly things. Sky swing. <laughs> Keep the light away from the road. Yeah, I see blinking red lights over there, look. You saw one? 
Yeah, like over there by the Ferris wheel, based the Ferris wheel, blinking red light. Oh, I saw it, yeah, on the Ferris wheel. Oh, I see it. It's, there's a blinking red light in the distance. Right here. We gotta check out this one, for sure. This place is creeping me the f out. I feel like I'm inside of a creepy pasta right now. I don't like it here. I'm hearing weird noises. Yeah, I'm not like, I don't know. I don't it's like Barb's it. Barb's ice cream shop, dude. You guys yeah. want ice cream? No, I don't. I want ice cream. I'm good. <laughs> dude, I want some ice cream. Come on. Oh, this is sick. Look at that sign. So this is like where you come in, you get your shit. Counter would have been here-ish. Yeah, this is back with the employees back here. Let's report employee class. Step on in there. Electrical room. <laughs> it's empty. It's all empty. Yeah, there's a control panel room in there. Why is that door propped open? I don't know. I don't want to find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this door. Go over there, man. Like TVs and computers and shit. Come see it. Control mechanisms and an old computer monitor. This is really cool. <laughs> Dude. Does that say NordVPN? Sponsored by. Oh, this is like the lines. Like we're going back and forth up to the coaster. Let's do it. Let's go to the coaster. Doors wide open. This is the gift shop instead of the top there. We're in the gift shop. I think we should do less, less light because we're going to be getting up. This is so creepy, dude. Look at this fucking thing. Dude, this shit is, this hanging shit is freaking fucking. There's so many noises. I don't know. This is insane terrain to be walking on. Should we go back the other way? Oh, what's here? Go forward. What is this? The start of the roller coaster. We got to the bin zone. And this is where you grab your bin to go, um, uh, like, Sliding. This is back the other way. We have to duck under the tree. Do you want to do that? These would have lit up the entire park, these things. The entire park would be lit the f up. Dude, the noises I keep hearing. Dude, this is the muck and the mire. I would not be surprised if we saw a gator, like, chilling. We're knee deep in this, the bog right now. <coughs> it smells like shit. Yeah, it doesn't smell too pleasant. I agree. Oh, great. Oh, dude, we bolted. Oh, my God. Yo, feel much. Yeah, yeah, we bolted. I dropped my phone. Hey, put it in your bag, bro. In your bag. Are you sure? Dude, I was so sure there was a car right there. That was scary, man. You scared me, huh, tough guy? Yeah, it's so fun, huh? You just want me to be scared. I'm fine now. <laughs> you ducked. Yeah, we got we gotta have we gotta have everyone's back. Right in front of us is a gigantic roller coaster. Yeah, huge. Big gift shop. Here's the entrance. We gotta go through it. How did it get this bad? Yeah, it's in such disarray. Oh, look at the creepy Joker up there. Oh. Yo, what's this? Look at the fucking Joker. Why is there a crack? More creepy stuff. Is this fresh or not? Hole in a spring all the way from Maine. All right, Tom. Give me, give me a smoke your cigarette. Am, am I tripping? Do you, are you not constantly hearing sounds? No, I'm hearing weird shit. Yes. I'm tweaking. I'm 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 just thinking it's... I should, yeah, it's our minds. Cause I'm I hearing should, voices. I heard a little girl. Me too. I'm hearing like children playing and like yeah. people playing. Yeah. It's freaking me out. I think it's just the the, the, the clanging, the high pitched clanging of metal. Oh, yeah. yes. I'm not even trying to be scary. I'm being dead serious. This this isn't this isn't even supposed to be the scary part of the video. Holy shit! I think the tracks are. What kind of substance is this? What is this? Yeah. 
goopy insulation. Lots of cool fiberglass in here that we're breathing in. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice big deck on there. <laughs> nice water on the ground. Good amount of flooding. This is like the control room. Do not remove by order of the fire marshal. Looks like they disconnected it or something. <laughs> These are the tracks, no? It's right there, the coaster, it goes down there. Yeah, so I guess it doesn't connect anymore. Happy Mardi Gras. Right there. Spirits are sending us shit. Turn that light off. Turn those lights off. You can see it reflecting off that like a bunch. Yeah. I'll be happy when we're out of here, I'll be honest. This is really cool, but I'm really happy when we're out of here. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I want to see more, though. This is like, is this like an arcade? It's a place to get cheeseburgers and sandwiches. Delicious <laughs> cheese sandwiches. Why'd you say it like that? I don't know. You said it so pedophilic. I don't, what? Don't put that on me. Put that evil on me, Tom. <laughs> cheeseburgers. Cheese sandwiches, what do you bring? <laughs> oh, just a cheese like sandwich. That? Okay, that's cool. You like my cheese sandwich, Tom. Smells Has it gotten so brighter since we've been here? Yeah, it looks, seems like it's getting brighter outside. Yeah, this is just such an eerie, just haunted vibe. I need a haircut. Yeah, you do need a haircut. You're tripping with this coconut ass head you have on. What the fuck is that, dude? Come on. <laughs> coconut ass. All right, there's the, uh, the giant wheel. Are you happy with this, Tom? We're this far. Why don't we just do the full? Oh, just look at this. Look at this. Cool. The giant Ferris wheel. It's cool. Stop to smell the roses. Tom's Adderalled up power walking to the Six Flags. Give me, give me a 15 second video essay summary of the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel is cool. It kind of speaks to the uh, dilapidated state of the place. It's not moving at all, completely still. Something you don't like to see at a amusement park. Reminds me of Chernobyl. Yeah, it's really cre this is really creepy. I can't believe it deteriorated this bad in 15 years. Well, the hurricane must have just been really popping off. For real, for real, no cap. I mean, it, is that it? I'm not, I don't mean to be disrespectful with that, but. <laughs> You're worried about offending the Katrina survivors? Everything in the park is wrecked. Like, not one thing is usable at all. This place job been ran through, for real. This place job been to torn to up. If they ever wanted to use this, they have to tear it all down, because it's, it's all waste of trash. And uh, the cool part about it is that it like, sits in a swamp, so it smells like shit everywhere. Yeah, it smells like alligator dick. And there's rattlesnakes. It's been good, though. We Okay, scared me. <laughs> Wait, why is there a giant... Sh is this ice cream? Is this supposed to be ice cream? Old-fashioned cars. What is that? All right. You heard that? Yeah, I heard that. Chill out. Chill out, Tom. You heard that though, right? Yes. Okay, so like when I'm when I'm keep saying this, I'm not just playing it up for the camera. I'm not trying to be funny. This whole time yeah, I'm. I can not hear it. Why are you pushing me back towards it? Dude, all right, just chill, just chill, just chill, just chill. Let's be honest. We have seen a lot of interesting stuff today, from the cemetery to the voodoo to the bunker. This is the creepiest thing. This wasn't even supposed to be creepy. No, we were gonna come during the day. You guys trying to get bumped up? You guys trying to do a couple bumps? Because there's bumper cars. We can bump around. Hey, come over to my house. Hey, I'm all right. I'm an all right guy. We can bump around. This is my bumper cars. Look. We, <laughs> hey. bumper car, dude. Yo, you trying to bump? Look at the camera. You're trying to bump? We're bumping up right now. We're bumping up. We're, bump the f We're bumping nasties. That is a huge building. That's a fucking Walmart. You know how expensive it is to build a roller coaster? Like 100 million. It's like incomprehensibly expensive. I mean, it could just be because we've been filming for the past 12 hours and talking about spooky stuff and going to places that are supposed to be spooky, but... It's not just that. I could have swore I distinctly heard the sound of like a children giggling. All right. Did we, didn't we come in over here? I don't know where we are. We, we came in right here. Remember this thing? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going lights out. We are about to evacuate the park. We're gonna avoid security at all costs. We're almost in the clear. Like, we're almost in the clear if we make it out of this. Yep, just gotta get to the road. We're not through the most dangerous part yet. Way less cool and more scary. I thought it was more cool, less scary. I'd say like 60 scary. You thought Sorry, it would be? Sorry, 60 cool. I'm saying scary. going into it, you thought it would be scary? <coughs> yeah. It was, it was making it hard for me to have any dialogue while we were in there because I just kept hearing shit and being like, oh, what? what was that? 
But pretty epic to come here, get chased up by security, and then try again 12 hours later. We copy. Over. Uh, we are coming in. ETA on the ground is three minutes. Be prepared on other side of fence for extract. Over. Yes, sir. Over. See you soon. Shout out Captain Goon. Shout out Captain. He's getting us out. What the? <laughs> okay, come on. Right there. Really? That was like 10 feet away. What if they got us right now? Well, we already got our video in, so I'm chilling. What was the creepiest noise you think you heard? I heard really creepy noises when we went. Right when we went in, we go over to the left, and we're by like the lake. And I heard like I thought from like this other building, not the one we went in, but this other building. I thought I heard like squeaking or like someone like laugh, like a little girl laugh. Like I was like I was tripping the fuck out. Yeah, but it was a lot of like, damn, I really that really sounded like some something scary. Don't worry, I wish I had like a little uh, Latino fairy in my ear. Don't worry, I say he's just a wee. He's just a wee man. Hey man. Dude, they just they just abandoned park, man. They can't hurt you. You have fun with your friends, man. Bro, as soon as you get out, get biggest shuttle ever, man. ASA, you're gonna be fine, Buckingham. You'll be just fine, dude. Chill, gringo, it's the wee. Come on, gringo, you got it. <laughs> you got it, gringo. All right, we're probably about time to extract. Like, let's uh. That's us. Let's go. Oh, right in the face. You guys suck at hiding. I wasn't. Operation Scary. success. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't actually, wasn't Scary as f Actually terrifying. terrifying. Wait, way, right? way no, scarier than I thought. No, I swear to God, way scarier. scarier. <laughs> no, I know you're wrong. I didn't think it was going to be scary at all, I swear you to God. You think you swear? You think you swear? I heard a girl we, laughing. He, he, he turned into you. <laughs> no way you heard a girl laughing. He was, he was gripping me. He was like... <laughs> you heard a girl laughing? Yes! It sounds so whack to say, yeah, it was, it was, it was like very creepy. We thought we heard a car, we all... Ducks. Like we all like did like a dolphin what dive. Did you smoke a cigarette in the park around the park? Like twelve. Yeah. <laughs> he smoked a cigarette before we were even like past the security. While we were still on the entrance. The that's what you gotta do, dude. That's like that's the only way I manage it, dude. Also, like, how cool is it to say I smoked a whole pack at Abandoned Six Flags? With well, that being said, that was our exploration of abandoned haunted places in New Orleans. It was pretty impromptu. Uh, we didn't have a lot of planning ahead of time. We just picked a bunch of places when we were there. So if you have suggestions of where to go if we go back, then be sure to let me know. Thanks so much to Wendigoon and Brandon for being in the video, and I'll see you guys later.